Hello and welcome back to Lucky Only. In this episode, I'm really hoping to try to clear up some areas and just get a ton of new luckies. Um, I think there's going to be some areas that are going to be so easy to farm and they'll be low level too, so they'll be super easy to catch the luckies. And they should give a lot of XP too. So if I actually want to catch every single lucky, I uh, might as well start with the ones lower down on the list that'll be easier to find. Okay, let's see what it is. Oh, is it really just a hangu? Looks like it. Is it like in the rock? Looks like it's in the rock. I'm assuming it's a hangu. Okay, there should be some ways to uh, damage it while it's in the rock. Okay, yeah, it is a hangu crist. Let's see if we can get him out of there. Oh, there we go. Yeah, ultimately, we want to get him out of the rock. Let's pull him, like, all the way to the edge here. Okay. Yeah, he can, like, move pretty freely inside of there. So, we just got to get to a thin spot in the rock and then hit him out. Maybe hitting him from this side makes more sense because of the slope. There we go. There we go. Took a little while. Okay, and that is 10 Mamorous Crysts. Yeah, I got a decent little chunk of XP from all that. Definitely seems like it's gonna be possible to get level 50 just by catching luckies, especially if we start actually clearing some areas and just getting a ton of easy luckies. So I think I found a pretty decent spot to go for now. I was just looking through some of the lower level guys that I still have to catch. And I noticed that all four of these kind of spawn in the same strip but this seems like a pretty nice spot. And there's there's a few other spawns that I can also get here. For example, Rush Roars, I might be able to see. However, I can also get Pingolets. That being said, I think at night, I'm still going to head back to the frozen area that I've been going to. This actually wouldn't be a terrible spot to come at nights either, just because there actually are a lot of night pals, even in these low level areas that I don't have yet. Look at this beautiful pingolette just vibing up on the tree. Yeah, I'm gonna not mess around with the shotgun to be perfectly honest with you. Um, honestly, I could probably get away with the handgun though. Okay, that's enough of that. Let's just throw a giga and call it done. Nice, this is a new one. That's sick. <laughs> just sitting up on top of that tree. I wasn't sure if I should be going over this bandit camp. Just because I feel like there's not as many spawns just because this is taking up space. But uh, hey, it worked out this time. But yeah, this is why I'm doing these low level areas because there's still a bunch of these guys I haven't caught. And I think it's going to be pretty easy since I can just fly over this area so fast. And each time I catch a new one, it's a bunch of XP. And bingo, it's... Oh, I almost missed that one. What is it? Another pingolet. <laughs> Man, this is great. The rate at which I'm getting these is just incredible. Man, I'm going to have to empty out my uh, box a little bit. I imagine I'm starting to get kind of full. Hey, we got a new one. Not a night guy, but hey. That is pretty sick. Might be a little bit of a tough fight. Um, I do want to kill these Mariaths. Honestly, just go deal with them, Shadow Peak. Okay, that's a little freaky, actually. Going a little too hard, Shadow Beak. Okay, that should be good enough. Can throw a little uh, shot grenade if need be. Are we gonna get a first try? Nah. 
he's ticking down a little bit too much, so I'm going to start throwing balls real quick. There we go. Nice, that's another new pal. Man, we've almost completely gotten everything from this area. Let me think. Yeah, we got Malchris, we got Wumpos, we got him. We got my cat doing stuff on the keyboard. <laughs> Oh, we still need the, like, Sibilex thing that can give us high-quality cloth, which would honestly be a pretty great grab. I don't actually use a ton of high-quality cloth. I do use a ton of normal cloth, and if I had, like, a free source of high-quality, I could build, you know, some more beds of the high-quality nature. Right now, I have a bunch of those horrible straw beds. Now, I always thought this guy looked kind of dumb, so <laughs> I never even really thought to use him, uh, but I did want to check him out really fast. Okay, so Dragon Pals drop more items when defeated. I don't know if we ever farm Dragon Pals for anything. He does have level 3 cooling, so that's cool, I guess. Cool, new lucky, though. Uh, let me look and see how full my box is. Yeah, we, <laughs> we're we almost out of space here. Luckily, I can go through and power up a lot of these guys to level 1. Clearing up some space. I can also craft those like viewing areas to store extra Pals. So I did uh, move to another island just because I'd already gotten that pingolet. Um, this island seemed like a really nice idea. This has most of those guys I was showing you earlier. The only one that doesn't have is Melpaca, which does kind of suck. Um, I don't really care about this check bee. Okay. I wasn't actually expecting that to kill it, unfortunately. I don't know what I was expecting. I should have got the handgun out. But uh, that's okay. <laughs> I really don't need another one of these guys, to be honest with you. Ooh, that's a new one. Okay, not taking any chances with this one. We're doing handgun body shots. Okay, that's good enough. Um, I will do a poison and a legendary. Which will be 100%. Which will be 93%. Then awesome's a cool one too. They're actually pretty good around the base. They have a lot of really nice abilities. But yeah, it has planting too and lumbering too, so... Yeah, honestly, better than some of the guys we have at the base right now. And hey, that's a bunch more XP. You love to see it. I'm going to be level 48 in no time. How much XP am I getting per new capture now? Wow, 12k. It's pretty nice. Oh, I see it. It's a land ball. There we go. Let's not take any chances this time. I'm not going to test the shotgun strat. He's level 4. Okay, that is 10 cryolinks. Okay. <laughs> we got another one of these guys. Why not? Why not? Give it a little poison. Give it a little legendary. Not gonna mess around with the shot grenade. Hey, there we go. Easy. That's 37k XP. Yeah, catching these level 50 luckies is not bad. Yeah, I mean, if you think about it, that's like catching three new creatures. Okay, a little Kativa. Why not? Yeah, I figured. Might as well grab the 100% chance. See what we get. Oh, just Kativa. Man, I'm getting so many luckies here, though. I think just the fact that I'm in such a nice, open, flat area with these cliffs that I can go between. I'm seeing so many spawns. It's crazy. There we go. Yeah, this has not been long since the Kativa, by the way.
Oh, hell yeah. It's happening. Okay, okay. Let's not die, though. I think the Chris version is really cool, honestly. I throw a couple legendaries. it from taking too much. Fortunately, everything wants to kill me. This is bad. This is bad. Well, rip. Definitely expected to get a little faster than that. Man, I don't want to respawn. <laughs> I know it will be gone. Yeah, so that really sucked. Uh, honestly, I was playing pretty terribly, but that was crazy how many balls I threw at that guy. And he did not get captured. So I guess my capture luck is finally run out. Oh well, let's get back to the video. Another Kakiva? Yeah, it should be good enough. Hey, is this another Hengu? Oh no, Mao. Okay. <laughs> At this point, I can set up like a money farm with these guys. I think this is my third one. I definitely need to make some more legendary spheres. I've been going through way too many. There we go. Yeah, I just haven't really been wanting to mine ore. Another land ball. Fox Parks? Oh, okay. I was really hoping it was a Caperty. That's, you know, one of the reasons I'm here. That's okay, though. I've been expecting to get a lot of duplicates. Oh, a Dire Howl, okay. Sure, you can have a Hypersphere. Why not? These guys are pretty easy to kill over here. I know in the video, these uh, Luckies are coming pretty fast for you guys. But honestly, in real life, they are too. Like, I'm seriously getting multiple Luckies every day cycle. This is definitely a working strategy. I really, I do not mind at all getting these duplicates. <laughs> and that's hilarious. I'm actually out of space, so I guess I gotta go deal with that right now. Okay, so I do have a full page and then some. Um, I have a lot of other good ways to save space. For example, I can catch like two more Hezel Spheres and I'll be able to upgrade my guy again. And that will get rid of like all of these. And I can also build those like viewing chambers and you can store a bunch of pals in there as well. And then if I really, really had to, you know, I could just get rid of most of these extras. Like, I have a ton, you know, I catch 10 of most of these guys, and then I power up with four of them. And so what I could do instead is just, you know, get rid of the rest. I was thinking I could just, like, sell them all and then drop the money or something. Yeah, I did have, like, an idea of, like, what if I upgraded, like, every single Lucky Pal to, like, level two or something? That could be kind of cool. Maybe I'll do that, but if I start running out of space, I can just get rid of those guys. Okay, where is it at? Ooh, it's a new one, finally. Anzi. Another big reason I chose this island over anywhere else. Okay, let's not shoot him in the head with a shotgun. 
We've learned that's a bad idea. Look at that. New lucky unlocks. Okay, well, I'm going to catch up 10 tansies. That should be easy. It's going to be a nice little boost of XP. Also, by the way, we do still have a few guys that I wanted to stay here for. So we got Rush Roar. This is a decent spot for them. We got Caperty, which honestly doesn't spawn in a lot of places. Um, this area is probably where I'll go if we find everything else here first. Of course, we also have the Deer and Nightwings here as well. Okay, it's been about 30 seconds since the last one. Ah, just another land ball. And that is 10 tansies. XP check. No, they're fox parks. It's not been long since the last clip. I have a 30 second replay that I trigger when I see a new Lucky. And you might literally have seen the last one on the replay. That's how <laughs> back to back these two were. And I'm finding so many over here. It's crazy. You guys just need to pay attention to the like day indicator on the bottom left to get an idea of how fast these Luckies are coming back to back. Yeah, it's been like a minute. Incredible. That's a land ball. You know, I'm loving all these luckies, but uh, how about we get like an elk or a nightwing or something? That'd be cool. What is it? Ah, uh, Fox Parks. Unfortunate. Oh. Ooh, here we go. With this one, I might actually end up leaving. I assume I don't actually kill it or something. You know what? You can have a legendary. Why not? No chances taken. There we go. That's a new one. But the other guys that I still have to get here can be gotten a lot of other places. Um, it's really Nightwing and the Elk. Can't think of any others right now off the top of my head. Nightwings especially can be got in the desert, so I might shift over there. Because there's a lot of things I need in the desert. As far as Elk goes, like, I might just run into one randomly on some other route. I mean, they are, like, everywhere, so I should be fine there. But yeah, I think that's it. I think it's time for a new area. Oh, yeah, one other reason I am here is for Rush Roars. But there's a few other spots I can get them that are probably better than this spot anyways. Uh, who knows? Maybe I'll come back here if I really get desperate. Unfortunate. I mean, it makes sense. There's a lot of Tokotokos here. And I would love to find something else. I've been doing this run for a good bit, so... Really hoping to find something. Yeah. Hopefully this thing doesn't kill the... Boss here. Oh. Yeah. Definitely kind of forgot Tokotokos explode, so... A bit of a mess up on my part. But maybe never punish. Okay, bud. Why don't you get in the ball? I feel like I'm wasting way too many spheres on such a horrible pal. But hey, it's only ingots, really. There we go. Finally. Okay. Well, first lucky of the desert grind. Okay, unfortunately a repeat. We do already have a Dazzy. Hey, I'm just glad it's not a Toko Toko at this point. Okay, let's hope I don't use up all my legendaries here. Also hope the Toko Tokos don't kill the Dazzy. 
There we go. And out of here. So unfortunately, this is the start of a new day, and I actually didn't have my recorder up and running, so you don't get to see the fly-up clip. Let's get back to live commentary, though. But uh, hey, look at this. We got a new one. So I brought Toko Toko out. I figured that should help quite a bit. Honestly, I've been lacking some damage. Okay, that should be good. Take it nice and slow. Okay, Dinosum. I've never actually used a Dinosum Lux. I wonder if they're any better at all than a regular Dinosum. Guess we'll see. Nice, there we go. That's a new one. I think with that, I'll actually get 48. Uh, it'll be close at least. I'm definitely going to stay here though, just because this is really the best place to get Nightwings. So, I mean, honestly, until I get a Nightwing, I don't see why I'd really leave. And there's still a lot of guys here that I still need. For example, the Suzaku over there. There we go. That's 10 Dinosum Luxes. Let's see how close I get. Okay, so I'm still 63k off. Uh, not exactly that close. We got a new one at night. I've seen so many of these Marriott's. They spawn in groups of three and they spawn all the time. I have been shocked that I have not found one up to this point. Okay. Toko Toko really is the absolute best for this kind of job. Just be careful. Don't knock them off a cliff or something. I'm feeling confident though. Also, Marriott just is just cool. This guy's seriously not mad at me. What the heck? Wow, oh, I even got back bonus gun. Only 15%. That's a little rough. Probably should get him lower. Just don't want to risk it. Oh, first try. The lucky luck is back. And guess what? He's a runner. That's incredible. We got a level up. Wow, everything good is happening right now. With Runner, that's kind of awesome. Oh, I've always really loved Marriott. I feel like he's so cool. I don't think that he's, like, super good at anything. I mean, you can see even with Runner, he's uh, <laughs> pretty slow. But, I mean, he does have a really cool, like, glidey jump. I don't know if that could ever be useful. I mean, he's just cool. Yeah, let's check him out a little bit. So he does have the 20% increase in movement speed. He's still a little bit slow. Regardless, he's pretty cool. Okay, so I think this episode's been long enough. And honestly, this is a great point to wrap it up. We got up to level 48, which is not amazing. There's nothing really great that we get here. Um, I guess I'll grab this stuff. But 49 is when we get rocket ammo, which is going to be really cool. Ultimately, though, there isn't too much else we're going for. The homing sphere launcher could be kind of fun. Um, and we also need rocket ammo for that. But other than that, I feel like we're almost complete, really, with our tech tree. Um, I think the rocket launcher is the only, like, major thing we're going to really get at this point. But I am really excited about this Mariath. I've always really wanted a lucky version of this guy, so I'm actually really hyped about this. Even though I think he is kind of useless, but I'm probably going to use him anyways. But I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. I know it was a lot of just, like, repetitive lucky hunting. We caught so many luckies this episode. A lot of them weren't new, but, man, we're going to have, like, five pages of lucky soon. In the next episode, we'll probably switch it up a little bit. Maybe go back for some cool, like, higher tier luckies. But anyways, that's been this episode. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.